I saved this one especially for you guys, okay? I actually forgot that I didn't play 2011. I may have played like 20 seconds of this thing, but we're gonna play Farm Sim 2011 for the first time today. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm your host, The Rental Man Buck. I have not, I specifically never even opened a save game. I have not pressed enter. I did not do anything on this. We're gonna play this game and we're gonna see how this thing looks, okay? Okay. This is what the game looked like back in 2011 for anybody wondering. I do want to clarify that I really, this, I, I never opened it. I never played anything. I really wanted this to be a full body experience. Wow, that is loud. Hang on, I gotta turn down my volume. All right, back where we started. Got some good elevator music here. Where's the volume at? I found it. Okay, now that we're actually back, I want to see whether or not this game is going to perform as well as I think it or I hope that it might. This is the first time that I've played FS11 really in general. Oh, that's right. All of this is going to have to be done on keyboard and mouse because it is not going to take wheel at all. Or if it did, I don't even know if it'd work. I got to get my cart. I'm trying to figure out what I actually have to do. And it's not looking too easy. So let's grab our little field cultivator and let's head over to some ground and start getting some tillage in. Here, as you guys can see, the ground textures of this game are so fantastic, and I mean, they are just top-notch. We definitely haven't come a long way at all on any of this. Yes. Woo. Oh, why do we not have that anymore? What happens if I do I do I disconnect it? Oh, wait, I can't remember. I think it like disconnects if you go too fast. Where is this feature in 22? Anyways, for more of the point of my story. Oh, that is so cool! I forgot all about that. So apparently, if you drive too fast, it actually just disconnects the the implement. That is awesome. But thank you guys for tuning in today. I do really appreciate it. Making 2011, this game would have came out in, I believe, the fall of 2010. Making this game now 14 years old. Picture it, guys. This is this is 2011. This is 22. The difference between these games is astonishing. But again, this is where we all came from when we started playing FS. I know a couple people said they started in FS 11. So. Uh, older generation of audience. I know Jake started in FS 2011, if you guys know the formal pickle, but I started one game newer to this in 2013. I think it's safe to say the physics are definitely come a long way, but where on earth is the disconnect of the implement when you go too fast? I like that. That's cool. So we're going to fight around, get this field cultivated up, and then we're going to hopefully jump back over to the uh, little seed drill and get ourselves some wheat planted. Then we can go and do a little bit of harvesting. a boat hold on a minute hold on a minute what on earth is a yacht doing going through here it's a cool looking boat sorry i get distracted easy i know i'm missing some stuff here and there but i also do want to note that I'm looking for the actual physics of stuff like the three-point linkages the top linkage and then the bottom two arms are the only things that are moving the rest of the connectors do not and I don't doubt it the game's 14 years old you got to cut it some slack but there are some things that I'm noticing that I really do like if you guys haven't noticed the tractor really likes to sway back and forth like look at how it's just kind of shimmying and you're gonna have to move your steering wheel back and forth that's really cool, the fact that you can't just leave the tractor on a straight line and the thing is going to go straight. It actually walks from side to side. You don't see that in the modern farm sims anymore. So already it has the 
if you go too fast it disconnects the implement and if you leave the thing going straight it's not gonna go straight like that's how tractors are even driving down the road you have to literally play with the wheel so much to get the thing to go straight i really like that let me know down in the comments though guys what is your favorite farm sim i know i got a lot of comments on the last one about a bunch of different stories who you who who got you into it where did you start i saw a lot of fs 15s and a lot of 17s None of that is really surprising that us as an audience and me as a content creator really started to figure out about this game. FS13 and 15 was the pioneer days of this game and FS11 was probably the first of the actual franchise because there, yes, there was FS2008 and FS2009 but we don't really cover those as much because they kind of were almost really, I mean you take this this is fancy. This is a Cadillac compared to what FS2008 looks like. If you guys want to go look at a picture of that, here's an image. But 2011 and 13 are the final installations of the game on the engine before they went to what was known as that 15 Giants engine. But I could tell that the physics just for some odd reason back in these games were so much better. And I think that it was just the modernization of incorporating all of the the dirt work, the ability to turn a header on and off. I was messing with the combine there for a split second and I really could not figure out how to get the header to turn on. I think it's you just lower the header and then the header itself will turn on once you hit crop. That's really cool, but I was trying to hit B and it was putting my pipe out. I'm like, wait a second. This is also back before they ended up getting licensing brands. I think it was just Lizard and Deutzfar, if I'm correct. Yes, it's Deutzfar. That's cool though, we only got $12,000, now I gotta get myself filled up with some speed, which I believe it is that right over there. So we're gonna do that, get ourselves some seed in the ground, then hopefully we'll be able to spray. A few moments later. Apparently we can plant corn with a seed drill, but we had wheat, corn, I think barley. If not, that's... I'm trying to think of what that would even be. It's not rye. I'm pretty sure it's barley. Yes, that is barley. Wheat, barley, corn, canola, grass. Whew, we can hire a worker though. Yay! So that was a thing back in the day. Let's see. Farmer Joe, I want you to do the work for me. And I forgot we're planting barley. Nice. Well, what the heck? It's going right back to the texture we just got rid of. Come on, Daryl. I can hire him out. For those that might be new to the channel, on all of my 22 videos, I actually use the AI workers and I've given three of the in-game pets names. Technically four now because Lieutenant Dan, my buddy off of TikTok, he has his own ped now. But I always gave the AI workers names. And if you guys do that as well, let me know what the names of those guys are in the comments. But this is considered Daryl. We have Daryl running the seed drill right now, getting some passes in. I like getting drone shots and I just wasn't able to get some in 15 because the mower or the mowing process that I was doing, you couldn't really hire a worker on it. So Daryl's going to keep uh, seeding away with some barley. I might see if I can maybe buy a cheap tractor so I can go in and spray or do something else behind him. Keep myself being efficient. But that boat's going by again. Come on, I want to buy that boat. I'm stuck with this tiny little thing. And then there they are over there. I also could go get a loan. I might be able to. I might, I might have to go exploring. Do we have enough money to buy anything that I could drive around on? I do not. Nice. Because that's what we need to do in life. We need to make sure we can't afford anything. Looking into the shop, though, they used to give you the option to buy and sell whatever you had right there. And I really do like it instead of having to go sift through all the stuff in the options of the store. But you also weren't able to customize anything, so you would never be able to tell what you bought back in the store. Let's see, how far has Daryl gone? Oh, he's boogieing along. Look at him go. Let's see. We have this tractor. We have this. Oh, we do have another tractor. That sounds about like my red car. Man, I really should have checked on what I had here. I thought this was my only combine. Nice. We have two combines. I'm going to take this guy back then. I want I want to I want to go and get myself some wheat harvest in here. Let's boogie. How fast this thing even go? Also, where the heck am I? Oh, there's a cow. I have no idea where I'm going and I have no idea where I've been. So we're gonna hope that this doesn't come back to bite me. 
I really want to acknowledge, though, that I did not set any settings when I opened up this game. And for some odd reason, I it, the units are my understanding. That's gallants. Why can't we have that? Because everything went to leaders when we went to 13. And it doesn't have, like, bushels or anything, but it, it at least has gallons. I got 108 gallons of fuel in this thing. That's real convenient. I say let's grab the grain trailer, though, and let's go and harvest wheat and see what that looked like back in FS11. Shall we? So where on earth is this at? Oh, he's way on the south side. Dang it, I'm heading the complete wrong way. I gotta go that way. Oh, we do have lights. Now, do we have turn signals? We do not. Okay, so lights were a thing, turn signals were not. Ah, yes. Now we're back to Celsius and the other non-American units. Also, why am I keeping up with a Bentley? This tractor's slow. It's also a really big mountain. Oh, <gasps> there's a ski lift! On the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. That would be a really bumpy mountain if you were coming down it because it's not filled with snow. I can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, Corey, let's see if you can mess this up. If you can mess this up by any way, shape, or form, you are fired from ever driving anything in any farm sim game ever again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at them textures. Look at those textures, though. Go, Corey, go. Go, Corey, go. If this tractor burns through fuel so fast, I need to see how much this one... This one hasn't used hardly any fuel. And he's been going for, what, 20 minutes now? Plus, he's already almost finished. Dang it. Daryl, you're moving. Unlike sub one... Oh, that's right, he just started. That's some good performing wheat, though. He's already at 12%. Trying to test Corey's on-the-go skills. Are you able to do it, Corey? Can you keep us in line? Oh, yeah, he is. And look at those wonderful physics. Yep, I gotta get closer. Oh, that did not work. I pressed the wrong button. This bro is harvesting at what? Would be 11 miles an hour? 12 miles an hour? Apparently, the texture to unload does not work if you don't have an adequate amount of grain in the tank. We'll let Cory work on that for a little bit. We'll check back in with him in just a few. Later. We're not going to talk about, one, the fact that this is the most beautiful skybox that I've ever seen in my life, and two, that I kind of forgot about. <laughs> I was taking the thumbnail, and I lost track of time, and you can't slow down time, you can't speed up time in this game. So now my guys are going to have to work through the night because I can't manage time correctly. Wouldn't that be a first? Let's get Corey dumped off and then let's have him get back on his way. Sorry, Corey. Didn't mean to. Wow, that is actually... Look at these skyboxes. This is why FS... This is why they always say FS11 through FS17 was the absolute best. Because in 19, they went to a different... It was like a dynamic skybox. In these games, you could literally make the textures that were in the sky. That's why they always say FS17 with Lone Oak was the king of the skies. You could see a bunch of stars. I mean, it was beautiful. Galaxies, Milky Way, probably a Hercules, maybe an Aphrodite. I don't know. But if you guys have not already, please consider maybe dropping a like, maybe even subscribing down below. I'm currently on the race to 100,000 public subscribers by the end of this year. Any and all support is much appreciated, and I love having you guys here. If you guys would like to see me play through the series of Farm Sim, be sure to let me know down below. I wouldn't mind heading back to 17, heading back to maybe 19. 19's not as, no not as nostalgic because it's only three years old now, but still, it's three years old come November. But just seeing how the game has progressed from 11 to 22, because the, dr the change is drastic. It is just downright drastic. But I might head back to the farm and get a little bit of spraying in. Because some of this stuff is already growing. And it grows at a very weird rate, I'll say that much. I also gotta fill this thing up. I made the comment last time though on, wow, I think the textures look a lot better in 15 than they did in 22. Well, let's see if that's the same for the sprayer. No, we've definitely come a long way since last time. That's, that's for certain. 
Probably not getting adequate spraying and might just have to use cruise control speed too. There was also, I believe, never a difference on the ground where you sprayed. Nope, there actually is. It's harder to see on this darker ground, but you guys can kind of see where that where I've already hit. But the problem with this is that the, the, the fluid, if you never shut it off when you got to the end of the row, it just kept spraying. There was none of this variable spray rate. It was all just, you know, you do it and you hope that you don't overspray or that you hope that you don't miss a bunch of spots. I'll have to catch you guys in the morning, though. It's getting hard to see out. Continuing on with my life, it is now 8 o'clock the next morning. Making pretty decent headway with what we got. It doesn't seem like I'm going through a lot of chemical in a short time, but it also feels like I kind of am. I'm really just trying to figure out how Giants did the scripting for this, because the fuel on certain tractors seems to really be bad on some and good on others, but the spraying, for as small as this tank is, you, this tank should be able to spray more than just this field, if I were to fill it up. So it seems like the usage rate's a little high. Otherwise, it mean, it's farm sim. And you guys can see, it's not tracking nearly as bad because it's not holding something heavy on the tongue. That was probably my favorite feature so far, was when we were using that cultivator, it, it would sway the front end. You don't find that on Mar Farm Sim today. Not in the slightest. I guess I could check back in, though, on the Cory and the Combine and see how he's doing. I would think, though, for today's episode, to call this a success. We'll get the crop sprayed. We'll also have the field harvested, and we've done some cultivating work. Seems like a pretty good baseline of how to judge how a game has really been played. And I do enjoy it. This has been fun. I don't know if I'm the only one that remembers this video. The very first farm sim video I probably ever watched was a 2011 one. And it was FS11 with somebody doing a wheat harvest with the song Convoy playing in the back. It was two like 8820 turbos from Deer, a white, two white Peterbilts, and two red low boys. If you know which one I'm talking about, you probably have seen this video before. It's one of the most popular farm sim videos to ever come out on the internet. I cannot find it though to save my life and I think the person who made it finally unlisted it. But there was another one that was a John Deere farm on some British map and I can't recall what it was, but it was a rather really, really cool video. I put it in one of my own private playlists because I didn't want to lose it. But I cannot find that C.W. McCall one to save my life, and it makes me so sad because I would love to rewatch that video again just for old time's sake. But let me seriously let me know if you know what video I'm talking about where it was C.W. McCall, FS 2011, two John Deere combines. Hit me up. I want to know if you guys have seen that. And plus, this thing's full enough anyway, so let's take this thing in. Let's see. We have the brewery, the mill, and the port. I kind of want to go see if I can find the best place. We have wheat, 26, 26. It's kind of even across the board in reality. Oh, actually, no. See, it's only got one page, though. That's the problem. Can I sell this here? I would think I could sell this here. Yes. Oh, you got to unload with Q? What? So one truckload of this, holy cow, at the inn, gets me. Bro, that was like $36,000! I need to get into the FS 2011 market, holy cow! We literally just... Yeah, wow. We just made $36,000 on a load of wheat. That is absurd. Man, what a day to be in these finances. We need to have Grant start selling wheat. But I think we're going to get this field finished up, and then we're going to start winding down on the video to wrap things up. And we'll see you guys closer to the end of the video. We'll get some time lapse of Corey just finishing off with his harvesting. I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I'll go back where I came from. Where everybody knows my name. My friends are still the same I guess the slow life Hit me just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can keep your nine to five Happy with the simple life Can we just take a moment to thank the fact that Corey literally just put that right there? I mean, you couldn't have put a more perfect place for that combine to land, except right there. 
Let's go dump it off. Wow. That was... That was beyond satisfying. I'm really not gonna lie. That was a lot more satisfying than I thought it would be. There he goes. He's off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. And also, I forgot. I'm selling barley, not wheat. That's probably why I made a bit more money. I just wish I knew how much the inn was selling this stuff for, because I can't tell. Either way, now we'll see you guys at the end of the video when we're kind of wrapping things up, and we'll see how much we can at least make. We started this video with like $12,000, and now we're at $46,000 just because we dumped one load of barley. Two hours later. Last pass is officially in the books. I also want to note that if you guys remember playing the mobile version of the game that was like, I believe, FS 2012, you're also going to remember the fact that when you used to dump the, the grain on the side, like if the, if the grain was not within the boundaries of the field, it would not drop any of the straw swap, and you would literally lose out on a whole row of grain. That was one of my biggest pet peeves of those days. With that now in the tank, let's go sell this one last bit and see how much we got, and we'll round everything else down. Make sure there's no one coming. Well, they are, but they're, like, going half a mile an hour. I think I can beat that. Considering a tractor that should only be going, like, 18 is going 33. We are boot scooting and boogieing, Brooks and Dunn style. Get down, go to town, turn around, the boot scoot and boogie. Oh, almost had it. Got it! Let's just see. How much money can we make? We started with 12, ended with $71,000. That is just stupid. That's literally a profit of like $59,000 from that one field. That's nuts. I need to get into the agriculture business, at least in this day and age. But I think that is going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in and checking out this old-fashioned FS 2011. It's great to see these old games and just kind of see how far we have actually come. But if you guys want to check out the FS 15 video, go check in your top right-hand corner. Also, though, be sure to check out the rest of the channel and the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it. I shall see you all in the next one. This is The Rental Man out. Peace.